The late Mr. R. D. Jensen is the founding principal of Swiss Cottage Secondary School from 1963 to 1968. Mr. Tok Peng Hock was the interior principal from 1962 to 1963. Back then, Swiss Cottage was located in Brass Basel. Thereafter, the late Mr. Jensen took over as the headmaster. 6 November 1963 marks the day which saw the official opening of Swiss Cottage and relocated to Dunyan Road. Back then, Swiss Cottage was one of the finest schools, equipped with laboratories, home economics rooms, and staff rooms. One of the many legacies under Mr. Jensen was the school's crest. The essence behind the crest was national integration. The five stars that arched over the crest represent equality, peace, progress, justice, and democracy. The torch of learning on the left signifies the beacon of knowledge and the passion for learning. The five rings symbolize sports as a vehicle that bonds different races and religions together. The five horizontal bands on the right denotes the five houses as competitors, but steadfast in fraternity. The school vision for the sake of learning and for the state in Latin was included as well. Under Mr. Jensen's helm, Swiss Cottage embarked on a journey in building her foundation in academics. Mr. Jensen also worked hard to ensure that students found balance in their academic pursuits and other meaningful activities beyond the classrooms. In 1965, Swiss became a renowned sports school in the Bukit Timah district and was known as Swiss Cottage Integrated Secondary School with both English and Malay streams. The school anthem, titled Twin Streams, was originally written in Malay language by Mr. Charles Lazaru with the hope for Swiss students to blaze a path of glory and scale new heights. Despite having two streams, all Swiss students are always together as one. Mr. Jensen left Swiss in 1968 for a new appointment as the Registrar of the Regional English Language Centre. However, his legacy continued. The school crest remained unchanged since then, while the anthem was sang till 1992 before it was revised by our second principal, Mr. Mossburgen. Mr. Rudy Mossburgen took over Mr. Jensen as the second principal of Swiss Cottage in 1969. Mr. Mossburgen was remembered as a man with a big and tall frame exuding strength and confidence with a wealth of experience, having been the principal of two secondary schools before taking over Swiss Cottage. He was a distinguished sportsman with aptitudes in hockey. The Swiss spirit was further refined in 1969 by Mr. Mossburgen to include the spirit of dedication and devotion to duty, spirit of service and sacrifice, cooperation and pursuit of excellence. New Prefix was selected in 1969, which brought new blood into the prefectorial board back then. The prefect inauguration on the 27th of January 1969 was started by Mr. Mossburgen and it became a Swiss tradition, marking the commencement of constant renewal of student leadership. Swiss Happenings was organised in 1970 with the aim of promoting literacy tradition. It was an informal gathering in the evenings where talented and artistic teachers, pre-university students and invited guests presented and shared their songs and poems. The Malay Youth Literacy Association had organised an inter-school debate for Malay students but in English language in 1971. Swiss had formed a debate team and emerged champion in the competition. Mr. Mossburgen also promoted literacy through reading. In 1972, the Swiss Library was selected as the model school library by the then Library Association of Singapore. 
Mr. Mossburton had selected a team of teachers to spearhead the Extracurricular Activities, or ECA, initiative in Swiss. This puts Swiss on another milestone. He encouraged ruggedness through ECAs, such as badminton, hockey and sepak takro. These ECAs were district champions of Swiss back then. Aside from sports, Mr. Mossburgen placed strong emphasis on building students' confidence and apparition through performing arts. He had encouraged these through organizing inter-class drama competitions in 1974 and 1975. Despite relinquishing the stewardship of Swiss Cottage in 1975, Mr. Mossburgen continued to contribute to the school. In 1992, he composed the new school song known as Blaze a Path of Glory, which is still sung every Monday during morning assembly. In honour to Mr. Mossburgen's distinguished contribution to the Swiss spirit and dedication to holistic development in both academics and character, the Swiss alumni has sponsored the Rudy Mossburgen Awards that have been given out since 2006 for the best in CCA and best all-round pupil. Both Mr. Jensen and Mr. Mossburgen had dedicated themselves in creating a Swiss identity to bind generations of Swiss together. The legacy that they left behind was something that impacted many Swiss students and their efforts in creating an identity for the school will always be remembered and appreciated.